example, ladies and gentlemen, we have negative 4, 1 and, and point negative 2b for our points. So now what we want to do is decide how to reflect over the y-axis. So now we are going to have y is kind of be in the mirror. So we're going to look for a reflection over in this y-axis. So again, sometimes you know it's nice. You can just say, all right, well, I just need to rewrite it over here, right? Because I'm just going to reflect it over the y-axis. But a lot of times, ladies and gentlemen, it becomes a little difficult if you don't understand um, or forget, you know, how are my points going to change? If I reflect it over the y-axis, that's fine, but how are my points going to be reflected? So if reflecting over the x-axis made our y-coordinate the opposite sign, Shayla, what do you think is going to happen when we reflect the y-axis? What do you think will be the opposite? Well, the y happened when we reflected over the x-axis. So the x, and that's exactly correct. If I have a coordinate point and I'm reflecting over the y-axis, now, my x coordinate is going to be the opposite sign. Yes? Isn't it already negative? It is already negative. And notice what I said. It's not going to be negative. It's always going to be opposite, right? So therefore, if my two coordinates, I have a, which is negative 4, comma 1. Well, what is the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4. And then the y coordinate remains the same. But that's a good question, because that's what students got stuck on last class period. So if b, you'd have a negative 2, 6. So again, that's the same thing. That becomes a positive 2, 6. All right? Um, and notice, I forgot to write in our new names. Guys, this is very, very important. Make sure when you guys are drawing these, which you're going to do today, you have to make sure you're labeling them. All right? You have to make sure you're labeling them. So this is a prime, and that is b prime. So let's go, and, uh, let's go and label them. I'll do a new color for you. We'll do a rojo. So we have A. Our new point is 4, comma 1. So I go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1. And then I do 2, 6. That's B prime. That's A prime. So do you guys see how this is different than the x-axis? Now we can see this y-axis is acting like a mirror. They're direct reflections of each other. But rather than always just saying you can just flip it over there, you know, look at how these coordinate points help us, allow us to do that. OK, Alex? You got that one written down, too? Good. All right, you guys want to have some fun? Yes. All right.